Last time on MJ Sailing, we left Saba and made a very wet sail to St. Martin. Where after moving ourselves into the protected Simpson Bay Lagoon, went to work on making an enclosure for our cockpit using $35 worth of vinyl just to get the project done before our Atlantic crossing. Jessica driver's license. Good. Cause. All important for today. Uh, we decided uh, we need a provision, uh, and the big store for that is in another town over on the other side of the island. So what we decided to do is uh, we are going to split a car rental for the day. Uh, it can allow us to do our provisioning. We're going to split a car rental with Bill and Grace Calico Skies, and uh, what that's going to allow us to do then, of course, is to go provision, fill up the whole car with everything that we need, all the big box store stuff um, for our land to crossing, and uh, then we get to go and visit the island. We haven't really seen much of the French side, um, except for the area around the bay, so this is going to allow us to go to the other side, go and see some of these sites, and uh, kind of enjoy the day. Our one last uh, hurrah in St. Martin. In the Caribbean. In the Caribbean for a while, at least. Yeah. Matt and I popped into the car rental agency and then grabbed our friend Grace so we could all provision at the Super U on the French side. And the cart. Yeah. You're going to do lots of snacking. Lots of snacking. Lots of milk. Lots of cereal. Yeah. Lots and lots of milk. Should last us across an ocean. I know we get some milk. Your cart doesn't look quite like ours does. <laughs> ours is all junk food. Here's Grace with her, she came with bags. We did not. <laughs> She's got healthy food. We do not. Some healthy food in there. Yeah. We're saving that. Maybe at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> we have yogurt. Does that Thank help? You. Yep. So we just threw a bunch of stuff in the cart. We left the shopping list back at the boat, but actually had a pretty good idea of what was on it still. So um, we didn't get any real like produce. We didn't get any meats, but that's okay because although the Super U was awesome. Um, their selections on meat was not that great or pretty expensive. Really expensive. Really expensive. So now I'm trying to navigate these streets of France through St. Martin where everyone is a defensive driver, but I guess that's good. And then we're going to put stuff away and go tour the island. So I'd still say provisioning was a success. We got a lot of candy and snacks, which is what we found out the last few times. Pretty much what we survive on. So no big meals being made aboard this time. So we are down our friends, Bill and Grace, they decided that they're going to stay on their boat and do some work because they're also trying to get out in the next few days, but we're being Wins. slackers. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a car for a day and we've never really seen the island more than just uh, Simpson Bay and a little bit of Phillipsburg. So I decided to come out and right now we are in Orient Bay, which um, postcards and pictures made the water look gorgeous and it is. So. It was beautiful here. Very yeah. nice. So yeah. just got a couple of beers of course and um, yeah I kind of want to find out the backstory here we're at the Orient Bay Resort and as we drove through you can definitely tell the damage that was done by Irma and it looks like um, 
kind of looks like an abandoned complex, but at the beach they have rebuilt just a couple of bars. The important stuff, priorities yeah. in place. But yeah, a lot of the uh, um, vacation rental um, little cottages are, they look like they're wiped out, type yeah. of thing, which makes sense because I think this would have taken the brunt of uh, Irma wins, coming through. Yeah. yeah, it would have been worse right, right here. So um, definitely understandable how that would happen. But they're building and there's some tourists here, which is good. And, um, you know, as we've said before, we've been trying to find things that we can do to help here. But from everybody we talk to, like locals, long-term cruisers, they just say, go out and spend your money. So They need to boost the local economy more so than uh, helping hands, unfortunately. Yeah, so they need to bring tourism back. So that's what we're going to try and help them with. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange. You know, it's there really isn't, uh, there is no NGOs here or anything like that for us to... Uh, physically go out and do anything they've already gone through and cleared out almost the, well all the debris is pretty much cleared out yeah. and now it's things like roofers and stuff and yeah, actual trades people um, yeah. are what's needed here and we just we, we don't have those skills to do that to lend a hand um, and those types of things you know moving brush that kind of thing yeah, yeah well, we can do that all day long so of the dozens of people we've uh, reached out to or asked they just said spend your money come here show people that it's you know a place that's still good to come to and spend dollars it's or beautiful. euros so yeah. yeah that's what we're gonna do today and it looks like they're gonna be all set for next season um the last places that are getting roofs put on and so on and the nice part about it is all the hotel rooms are completely remodeled then because of the damage so and so forth so you're getting everything new, new new furniture um, new mattresses yep new sand new. i think they had a <laughs> probably truck in a bunch of sand here and a bunch of the other stuff so it's done done a number on the place but uh it is yeah it's getting rebuilt and it's gonna be beautiful again based in french saint martin Orient Bay is located on the east side of the island. With its sparkling multicolored waters, this beach has become one of the most popular places for people to lay in its powdery white sand shores, and it's easy to see why. With mountainous peaks enclosing you, and palm trees lining the beach instead of resorts, it is much quieter and more laid back than the also popular Simpson Bay, although the number of beach chairs lined on shore will remind you that you're not the only person to have found this gem. Taking a look at our surroundings and seeing what was left behind after Hurricane Irma, Club Orient Resort resembled a post-war demolition zone. With sustained winds at 185 miles and gusts reaching even higher, there was no mercy shown to this complex and it was utterly destroyed. Of the 140 rental units, nothing was left untouched. Originally a very bustling naturalist resort, the company has stated that the rebuilding will be postponed while insurance measures are worked out and hope to come back even stronger in a few years' time. Uh, still just driving around. We took a road and we're back on the Dutch side now. And we don't know really where to go because just like any time we do anything, we don't really do any research. This time we didn't have internet though. <laughs> And so we're just kind of like taking every main road and heading to every town in St. Martin. But it's cool because that's how you see an island is by getting lost. But the good thing is pretty much everyone will like let you in here if you start to inch out. It's not like in the U.S. where they're very protective of their spot in line. So this, you're going to go this way. Yeah. Okay. See what kind of places Aimless Wandering can take you to. So Jessica's trying to kill us again. As always. We just came up off the steepest grade that a Hyundai has ever climbed. And Pretty sure we're gonna die going down. Now we have to get back down it. Yeah. Uh, one little more. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. It may not look steep, but 
it is very sad. I'm just gonna like crawl yeah. down the sink. Uh, now we're fine. Oh, this isn't that bad, no. this direction. Oh my God, there's a dog. <laughs> oh, poor doggy. Don't run out in the road. You're pretty though. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't as bad as we thought. Picking Bill and Grace up for one more round of grocery shopping that night. Just as the sun was setting, we made a stop at a scenic overlook with beautiful golden hour views over Simpson Bay Lagoon. So I thought my difficult task for the day was going to be getting in this wave pool of a harbor that we're in and cleaning the bottom. Um, but it turns out my new difficult task is going to be getting all of these little crabs out of my hair because they are everywhere over me. Um, if I ever do this job again, probably going to invest in a shower cap or a swim cap or something so that I don't have to deal with this again. Another sizable project on our hands was to clear out the aft berth to make it suitable for sleeping during our crossing. Since we were currently using it as our storage facility, this meant unloading everything and finding the best way to put it back together, where light items could be hidden up in the V-berth and heavier items needed to be placed close to the waterline. It was a long round of mastering the Tetris-like skill needed to best utilize the space we had, but eventually it all worked out. So, uh, just kind of not our last trip into town, but one of our last runs in. Uh, need to get some more diesel for our jerry cans. Matt's looking for a Cat5 cable for radar. Um, just like some webbing to kind of beef up our little Dodger spray guard. And I don't know if we're gonna run up to the market and just get a few more items of produce or if we're gonna hold off for that until like the day we leave. So, day we leave, I guess. So, uh, today's just gonna be kind of a quick run in and try and finish off the bulk of our projects at least, so. Is that what you're looking for? Sort of. So we just popped into this place called Electec that's a few doors down from Budget Marine and we'd passed by it I don't even know how many times but we didn't know exactly what was inside so we never came in and of course our last day here where we're coming for Cat5 cables which I think Matt found some. They have absolutely everything we could have needed our whole time here like different um, fuses, water maker parts, um, fittings. It's a shame that we didn't know about this place before, but for anyone coming here in the future, Electech, check it out. After that, it was the few remaining little items of business to last us up for 30 days away from land. We stocked up on produce and meat, but needed to make sure that Elements had everything she needed too. After a quick oil change from Matt, we made a few rounds to Island Waterworld in the dinghy to top off fuel with our jerry cans. The tanks had already been filled the week before, but on top of our 80 gallons we could hold on the boat, an additional 15 gallons would be stored in the confines of our cockpit. With the bulk of our projects done and a weather window on the near horizon, we gathered with our friends for one last sundowner of rum punches before we'd meet again for our next drink all together in the Azores.
That's so true now. So right now we are at the uh, bar slash restaurant The Goonies with our friends Bill and Grace of Calico Skies. As you can tell, it's a little noisy in here. Uh, a little lively. Happy hour just started. Yeah. Two dollar rum punches. And we're all looking on the same weather window to leave here. Um, so after all the guys did hard day's work as girls on the computer, it's time to just relax and enjoy a couple of cocktails. What others say when I'm with you now Through the autumn and the winter snow Keep telling all the friends we know That I'm with you now Join us for the next episode of MJ Sailing where we set off from the Caribbean to sail across the Atlantic Ocean towards the Azores. We get becalmed about three days out to sea, and a non-functioning water maker has us conserving water in every way possible. <laughs>